example. What's going on, drone nerds? Patrick here. Today, you're probably wondering, first off, why am I sitting directly in the sunlight and why am I wearing sunglasses? Well, I wanna illustrate a idea for you. If you're gonna go out in the sun, the sun's bright, you put sunglasses on, right? You put sunglasses on to protect your eyes and to also have more vibrant colors. So my question for you is, why would you go outside and film with your Osmo Action without sunglasses on your Osmo Action or some type of protection from the harsh sun and brightness that we get here in Florida and other sunny places around the world. Well, I have a solution for you, and that's what we're gonna talk about here today. In this video, it's the all new Polar Pro Cinema Series Vivid Collection ND Polarizer filters that go onto your Osmo Action. We're gonna open this box up, we're gonna install it on the Osmo Action, and we're gonna walk around, do some filming here at the beach today, and I'm going to show you different footage comparing the Polar Pro filters with the just stock overall filter that comes on the Osmo Action. So let's waste no time and let's go. All right, so here you can see I have the Polar Pro filters. Nice little case, you're gonna open this up, see what's inside, obviously the filters. And I do always love Polar Pro products because they come with these sweet little cases so you can keep your filter safe, you can travel with them. I've got a ND4 polarized filter, an ND8 polarized filter, and a ND16. Now obviously it's really bright today, so we're gonna be shooting with the ND16 polarizer. And you're gonna see an automatic difference between shooting without the polarizer and shooting with the polarizer, especially around the water and the beach. And I'm gonna talk about why that happens and all that here in a little bit, but let's just take a look at these filters. To install the Osmo Action filters, all you're going to do is twist the stock filter counterclockwise, just like that. It takes a little bit of pressure at first, but once you get it, you can just twist it right off there and it just unscrews. And you'll see inside of there, the little lens. Now be careful with the stock filter just because you might wanna use it later, stuff like that. You don't wanna you know, lose it or anything like that. But it'll actually fit back inside of the Polar Pro case so you can keep the stock filter in there if you need it for later. Now, so now I'm gonna screw the Polar Pro filter back onto the Osmo Action, just like that. And then you can see, like I said earlier, this actual lens filter or the ND filter itself just clicks on and off with a actual magnet. And it seems to really be strong and wanna stick on there. It's not falling off or anything like that. Basically, when you're putting a neutral density filter onto your Osmo Action, you're reducing the amount of light coming through the filter and then hitting the camera sensor. Obviously, the higher the ND filter, the more light is reduced. And this effect allows you to lower the shutter speed and create a more natural look when filming, especially with the Osmo Action, which if you're running around, you're shooting, you're filming, you wanna get that lifelike look obviously shooting at a slower shutter speed is gonna create some motion blur and make it more realistic. The polarizer is great because it's going to reduce the amount of blue light that's bouncing off of the ground, that's bouncing off of the water, especially when you're around water or you're at the beach, stuff like that. There's a lot of blue reflection that comes off of the ground overall because the sun is hitting the ground and then bouncing blue around the sky's blue and I don't know the exact scientific reason for all the blue but there's a lot of blue out there so the more you can cut down on that blue using a polarizer reducing that glare from the sun the higher the quality images you kind of have a more pleasant more pleasant look so for today's purposes I'm going to be shooting 4k at 60 frames per second and like I said earlier I have the ND 16 PL filter on there right now so the PL means polarizer obviously but Let's get some shots. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like without shooting with the ND filter and what it is like shooting with the ND filter, which is nice for this demonstration because I can easily pop the filter on and off quickly and give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Now I'm taking the filter off and you can see the major difference between shooting with the ND16 and shooting with no filter at all. Obviously the difference in the light and now, you know, needing to increase my shutter speed from 100th of a second to much higher shutter speed. So let's take the filter off now and see what shutter speed I would need to film at to have proper exposure with no filter in this type of lighting condition or this type of sunshine. So taking the filter off and to properly expose the Osmo Action, I would now need to shoot at 1,000th of a second. If you look kind of like up here in the sky, look at that, right? 
can see obviously the major difference between shooting without the polarizer and then shooting with the polarizer. We're getting a lot of glare over there, a lot of glare overall, you know, not getting the same amount of contrast and saturation or just overall pleasant look. So right now, you know, there's just a lot of blue in the image, a lot of blue overall. And just like that, after just really only shooting for two or three minutes, you can see the major difference between not having a filter and having a filter, but you're also gonna see more of an effect when you're actually moving along. So maybe we should go move along and see if we can create some motion blur so I can kind of illustrate this a little bit better for you guys. All right, so now I'm pushing around on the skateboard and I'm filming again in 60 frames per second, but now I'm shooting at 1 60th of a second. So we're gonna get motion blur. And you can see from the footage, if you look to the right of the screen, you can see how the trees or the plants or whatever those things are called are blurring through the image. They're not crispy. They're not looking defragmented or pixelated. They're just kind of blurring through the image. Very lifelike. Kind of pushing along here. And I'm gonna take the filter off here. One thousandth of a second, so at a higher shutter speed. Shooting at a higher shutter speed. And you can see how the trees or the plants just don't blur through the image and they're actually more defined. So you're not getting that motion blur, that cinematic look. Obviously shooting at a higher shutter speed is just not what we're looking for. We wanna have that nice, smooth cinematic image. And that's why we need the ND filter to cut down on the light so then I can reduce my shutter speed. So today we learned three things about the DJI Osmo Action Polar Pro filters. First thing is they're really well built. Second, they're easy to install and use. And third, they make your Osmo Action look better. Higher quality image going into the sensor and then at the end of the day, you're just getting an overall more pleasant, more cinematic, more beautiful. I don't think that's proper English, more beautiful, but in general, I'm impressed. I haven't seen the footage just yet. I'm excited to go home and look at the footage and wrap all this up, but I can already tell just from the overall motion blur and the overall look on the camera itself compared to filming with the camera for the last couple of weeks without the filters, I could tell a pretty big difference. And I'm excited to keep my Osmo Action protected. So there it is, if you guys wanna learn more about the Osmo Action, if you wanna learn more about the Polar Pro filters, head on over to DroneNerves.com. We've got all the latest and the greatest DJI drone products and action cameras now. We have action cameras, it's pretty cool, I'm excited. I'm excited to have the DJI Osmo Action for everywhere that I go around the world. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I will talk to you guys later on.